Okay, so today is uh, game day, and we're going to make tacos, because that has been a request. Liz, make some of that. They're so good. So that's what I'm, I'm, I'm going to do today. So follow along. This is going to be easy, okay? So this is what you're going to need. So we're going to start off with three cloves garlic. We're going to uh, add in about... Uh, shaky, 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 shaky. About a teaspoon of cumin, okay. And you're you're really gonna want to get the uh, cumin seeds because it just, I mean, it packs a punch. It just makes a huge difference. It's so good. Trust me. And then we're gonna add some salt because the salt breaks it down. And then we're gonna do just for some smoke. We're gonna add a little bit of paprika, just to, just a touch, okay? So, smash. I should probably cut this up, but I actually kind of like doing it like this. And you just get it and grind it, and you don't stop, see? And by the way, um, I was told that's my grandmother's mocha jete, and uh, I love it. It just reminds me so much of her. It's awesome. So keep grinding, okay? Grind until you bust down, bust down all the seeds, okay? Oh my goodness, just that scent is just amazing. I wish y'all were here. That scent is just, oof, yummy. There's nothing like it. Keep on, see, that's not enough. It's It's gotta be more. Try to get the edges. Okay, so that's about what you want, like a paste, okay? So I'm also gonna add tomatoes. Uh, so I normally add a can of Rotel, but I kind of just wanted it to do the old way, which is just to use this and just to smash up everything in here. It's just so much better. So, and then we're going to add in a little bit of cilantro. Okay. So just a little rough chop. And you know what? Be sure to clean all of your, uh, veggies because these hold a lot of dirt and you know I wash everything in vinegar bath because you just never know what is going down in them fields and I normally grow everything myself but with that hard freeze that we had I lost everything so follow along okay okay so now we're going to add a little bit of olive oil, okay, eek, more salt, you got to salt that man, and oh yes, pepper, we need pepper, where's pepper when you need it, oh, there we go, smash, you just want to Break it down and break down the cilantro as well. Okay, we're just more or less making like a what we would call uh, chile or pico or well, actually no, it'd be chile. But this is what I'm gonna add to the ground meat. Okay, it's gonna be amazing. Trust me. And it's game day, and the cowboys are winning. Go Cowboys, that's for you, Jessica. She was so mad at me. She was like, I can't believe in the last uh, video you did, you said go Eagles. I said, I was just kidding. I was just kidding. It was a joke. Ha ha, ha ha, joke. You're kind of mashy, see. You just kind of want to make, we want to make it where it's all reduced down. Okay. 
and then this is going to really help the meat not get dried out okay so that's why I'm doing it this way And I almost forgot to add a lime, just a little bit of lime. Uh oh. You ever seen at the store that can of Rotel and it's like it's like uh, diced chilies, tomatoes, and sea cilantro? Same thing. Done. And it's fresh. I love it. Yum. So now we'll, let's go to our, our meat. Okay, so now we're going to add a little bit of um, olive oil. And then once that gets hot, this is going to be on uh, medium heat, we're going to add in onions. Okay, so now we're going to drop in our onions. And it's going to go <laughs> Love that. Okay, and then we're also going to add in salt in pepper. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, a little bit, do, 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 do. Okay, so now be sure to take out your ground beef, I don't know if I said it before, about 20 to 30 minutes before, because it really does make a big difference. You don't want like tough meat. Okay, we're going to add in the meat. Okay, so now that our meat is browned, we're going to add in all of the mixture. Oh my goodness, just that scent. Thank you, Grandma. Okay, so now we're just going to stir this in. That just smells amazing. Just that scent is amazing. Smells really good. So now we're going to put this on low heat because we just want it to kind of get tender. Okay. Drop it to low and we're going to turn it on. I mean, put on the lid. And <laughs> we're going to put on the lid. There you go. Also, um, I actually came across this this brand, La Tiara. Um, if you don't have time to make your own uh, shells, which would basically be like fry your own shells, uh, these are actually really good. They're pretty thin, they're pretty crisp, and they don't really break. Give them a try. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put in some cheese first. Uh, this is some um, Monterey Jack. We're gonna hit it with some cheese get all cheesy okay just and then we're gonna put that meat like right on top okay so you have meltiness at the bottom and then you're gonna have some meltiness on top okay looks good okay so we let our meat uh, simmer for about 20 minutes so now we're just gonna add in our meat okay Perfect. We're gonna do a little shell right here. Look at that. It's so soft, tender, looks so good. Give me a second. Okay, so now we're gonna top it with some more cheese. Just drizzle, 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 drizzle. Okay, now we're gonna toss it with that good guac. Yum. This guacamole is amazing. It's so good. And here you go. Put some right here. And then I'm going to top it with some tomato. 
chef mom here got some tomato over here see that looks so good put one more over here all right we're gonna hit hit it again with some cilantro okay And we're done. Look at that. That looks amazing. Yum, yum, yum. Perfect. And it's um game night, so I'll see you around. Have a blessed day.